from Springfield, Mass. Um, the song that I'm featuring right now is called Sober. It was dropped some time ago, and it was on my last tape called Vampires 2. Losing, I want to feel something other than disgust when the I see it. Bond song is just an experience I had with my uncle. Um, my uncle's a whole crackhead, like this nigga's a fucking bozo, he's stupid. Um, he was stealing shit from my grandma, so I went over there and beat the shit out of him, fucked him up. Um, then I wrote the song after. It was about, this. the song is literally about just like drug abuse and like the shit that transpires from that type of shit. But yeah. The beat, I, I don't know, shit was bouncy, I guess. Like I, I fuck with I fuck with like a lot of um ethereal like airy ass type beats. Shit that you wanna like go to church to but after like just punch a fucking wall. I don't I don't know, it's like it's different. <laughs> I, it wasn't really a plan, I just did it. I went to the studio the, 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 the same day. Um the the speed, the tempo of it, like most of my songs, they're really like high energy, high, high like, high, high, um, yeah, high energy type shit. But this one is more like slowed down. It's more of a build up towards the um, the peak of the song. Lights, the camera, action, action. We are products. Do you do you feel like? Do you feel like you, as a musician, you make money off of what your name itself? If names are given to brands so they can be recognized for consumption, your product. Uh, both of those things, I spend all of my time on. Like I've given up working for this shit. Literally, I'm surviving off of feature money and artwork. So it's my life right now. <laughs> um, a lot of a lot of camera nazi, a lot of Zilakami, a lot of slightly sunny. Um I just I just found out about this girl I got a feature with right now. Her name is Madame Pena. She sounds really dope. Um I'm listening to like a lot of um motherfucking Death Tour and shit, um, fucking NASCAR Allo, Coney, good shit. I don't care about blowing up, I just make music. And now I pray for the Lord to take my soul without Kid Cudi. And because, like, all I, I, honestly, yo, all I need him to do is just hum. That's it. I don't want no lyrics. I just want hums. God, oh God, oh God, where are you? My name, um, it's a double meaning to my to my name because first, we we all understand that Gook, it started off as a derogatory term for the Vietnamese people. That's fucked up and I do not stand for that type of shit. Hell no. The meaning behind my name is in South Florida, niggas use that, use that term to describe somebody who's lame, fucking trash. Even in even in Vietnam, the, tra the real translation of Goop is country. It's not nothing like fucked up. So I didn't I didn't know about the double meaning behind the name when I chose it. Because niggas was calling me Goop in high school because like I was into like fucking anime and shit and all that. I was a little fucking nerd. So he was calling me that shit. And I took that shit and I ran with it. So yeah. But they can't get around. Big fence, big we the doubt. Good chronic all around. Not breaking down. Right. Um, a lot of people when they see my art and shit um they ask me that question a lot and i say that how people write music is how i draw when people say that oh i wrote this song when i went through something or i wrote this song when i was feeling some type of like deep feeling or whatnot i feel like i I write my music first, and then when I feel something and I can attach that feeling to the song, the artwork comes after. So, yeah. Um, I got a project coming September 1st called um, Icarus Black. It's a six song project, 
and y'all could look out for that. Ooh. And where can everybody find you on social media? Uh, social media, um, on Instagram, my name is Unknown Gook. It's U N K N W N G O O K. Yeah, that's that's really all you, all you can find me on. It's Twitter and shit like that. Ooh.